Though it has been requested since I have done Ice Age, Mammals, and Dinosaurs, that I now do Paleozoic Creatures. Which, of course, in a general sense, refers to animals before dinosaurs. So, very early life on the planet. And, um, that's where things get weird. Uh, there's a lot of strange creatures from back then, obviously. Uh, so this could go a lot of ways. I have decided to start us off with arguably the most famous example from that time period, which is Dimetrodon Limbitus. Uh, Dimetrodon is the one with the big sail on its back that isn't a Spinosaurus, and also not a dinosaur, Synapsid, although often mistaken for a dinosaur by people who simply don't know any better. But they lived before dinosaurs, they're not dinosaurs, they're more closely related to us. But yeah, uh, we'll see how it handles this one, and I'm hopeful that this will go fairly well. At least with Dimetrodon's case, because like I said, this is a fairly famous animal, despite being Paleozoic. You know, even if you don't know it's not a dinosaur, people usually know what one is, or at least recognize it. Maybe they, they may not they may not know the name offhand, but they're like, oh, that, that dinosaur, th that, see, this is not off to a good... <laughs> Alright, <laughs> let's just take this one at a time, shall we? Um, to begin with, uh, Bro is missing half his sail. Uh, about a quarter of his sail. Uh, it, it should be it, it should be one long arch, and it just kind of stops here. Uh, legs, I feel like, are a bit too long. Head is completely wrong. Neck is off. This is not a... We're not, we're not doing so hot so far. Oh, dear. Uh... <laughs> are in this head. Uh, <laughs> not a single solitary thought within this cranium whatsoever. Sales wrong again, but you already knew that. I, I just, the, 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 the lack, the sheer lack of any brain function is a, is a serious concern with this particular animal. Uh, more thoughts. Very, it's uh, very aware, but also what is with the sails? It's just cutting them in half. It's the strangest thing. And wow, that is a long tail. I just noticed that. Uh, also, the head crest. Not a, not a thing. And again, a half sail. Sort of. This is. These are just. These are just. These are just like. These are just like Final Fantasy enemies <laughs> to fight. You know, like this is. These aren't. This is, these are not actual animals at any point. Um, no thoughts whatsoever. Arethusa Kaninki, which is probably something most of you don't know what that is. But it's a trilobite. Uh, there, there's a lot, a lot of, trilobite's a very vague, tri that's not even good. It's a trilob, it's, that's a, okay, look. Arethusa Kaniki is, a, it's a trilobite. Okay, it's, it's a, it's a trilobite. It, it, it's not a, this appears to be a moth. A very colorful, very pretty. You know, you did it, you made a very pretty moth. Not a trilobite. <laughs> it's not what that is. I, I, I. I want to say maybe what's happening here is that this particular name, this particular species, might be very similar to the name of a moth or a flower, because now we have just a, a flower. That's that's what that is. That's not helping. Anomalocaris canadensis is a strange creature that is hard to just for me to describe to you. And perhaps even more difficult for AI. To, these you have created some Dungeons and Dragons something. Uh, it's, it's, it's horrors beyond human comprehension. Thank you for that. I mean, granted, Anomalocaris looks pretty scary. You know, uh, I, I get, I get it. I, I think, I think. 
I think you're on the right track, but you're wrong. Uh, but hey, you knew that. I knew that. We all knew that. It's whatever. Orthocansis cylindricus is a fish. A distinctive fish, but a fish. So I expect to see a fish. That's a shark. Not a fish. Do you see the difference? Do you see the difference? This is it. it they were xenocanthiform cartilaginous fish. Okay. Now, to be fair, cartilaginous fish technically do include sharks. But this is a bit too literal. Also, what the heck is going on here? Uh, that's a long boy. That's just, that just looks wrong. That looks like more of a normal shark. Uh, but again, that's not what orthocansis, orthocanus, orthocanthus is. That's not what it is. It, it's different than a shark. It, it, it's, it, it's close, somewhat closely related, but it's, they're not sharks. They're, they're not sharks. That's not what they are. They're not sharks. Ichthyostega stensioi. Yeah, I, I'm not trying to pronounce it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> These were leg. These were tetrapodomorphs with legs. They walked, which is what I expect to see here. I hate you. That's not even. I'm sure most of you are saying, well, you did ask for legs and walking, and that's what they gave you. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. They gave me the bare friggin' minimum in every conceivable way. It's just li these are just lizards or dinosaurs, actually. That the, the, would be very dinosaur. But that's an extra. Li <sighs> Listen to me. If the Ostega looks, that doesn't look. It, it, they they look like this, like big, almost amphibian, uh, you know, froggy. Sort of not. No. No, this is it's it's just fl it's flat out wrong. Denicthus Torelli is actually a bit of a more famous animal because it was a fish, but with a very specific kind of jaw, a very scary jaw, a predator, an apex predator. So this should be a fish with a very distinctive. No, no, no. Again, that's not even remotely. What I asked for. The head looks like this. It's got a really distinct look about it. These are just piranhas or something. Or I, ah, it's really not handling the Paleozoic. It, it does. The AI cannot comprehend the Paleozoic at all. Eurypterus remipes, otherwise known as sea scorpions. Or at least one of the species of those. Then this is your last chance. I expect to see... Well... Hold on. Uh... No, but... <laughs> Better than most of the others. I mean, I, I this one has left me feeling just empty because I don't think we've gotten a single one of these correct. Not one. No, no, I just checked back. Not a single one is right. Every last one of these is wrong. And that's pretty bad, even by AI standards, because Throughout at least this entire time when I'm doing AI stuff, the entire time when I've been doing these experiments, on every single previous example of an every single previous time period or, you know, restrictions, it got at least one or two mostly right, somewhat right, you know? 
this time, all of them are failures. All of them. I'm going to give it one last shot, though. And I'm going to let it try to do Dimetrodon again. Only because if there's any animal in the Paleozoic that it should be able to get mostly right, it would be Dimetrodon. So I'm going to give it a second chance as a last Hail Mary play to see if I can get the AI to actually do this correctly. You son of a... And with that, a special thank you. Because that's all my Apex Predators. Metal for Life guy, Dr. Racer78, and Arthur Roy. Till next time, this is Darkness. And I bid you all a fun farewell.